So you want to be a streamer. Well, you're going to need different levels of software to get you started and set you apart. Let's get started. we look at video editing software. Now video editing software is good for post-production. There are a lot of really great apps out there and a few I'll give recommendations for here. For the good, better, best, we basically go from free to cheap to expensive. And I'll also throw in some programs for editing graphics and not just video. CapCut is a new free program you can use on your phone or other devices that's really easy to edit and where I make most of my TikToks. And for free graphic apps, things like Adobe Express, GIMP, or Procreate are really good programs to help you learn and draw or create a logo maybe. For better, programs that are cheaper that do a lot of the work of the best are programs like Affinity or DaVinci's Resolve. And then for best, I use things like Adobe Creative Suite with Premiere, Photoshop, and Illustrator. Right now, I'm recording this video on OBS, which I'll talk about next, but I'm editing it in Adobe Premiere. All the cuts and transitions, and there's a lot of stuff that I've taken out, those are all gone because I've edited them in Adobe Premiere. Now, as we move into the last part, we talk about broadcast Broadcasting software. Now this is important if you're producing your own shows or your own streams, a broadcasting software is very, very important to get your content out there live to the audience. The good, better, best is simple. Good is stuff that's free. Things like Twitch Studio or Streamlabs Desktop. The next level up at better is what I use exclusively is OBS, Open Broadcast Software. It's free, it has a ton of plugins you can do really cool transitions and things with, and it gets the job done. And for best, a program like vMix is really, really powerful but can be expensive. But if you think about a TV studio, they probably start off with a program like vMix and then use some other standard in the industry. But the broadcast software is important, especially if you're producing your own content or recording something for your career. You did it. Finding software programs to stream your live show is as simple as that. Make sure you take some time and find other YouTube videos about how to use each one of those programs to your benefit. Thanks for watching.